Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. I um, just wanted to start off this video by saying, one, it's the day after Christmas. I'm at my grandmother's house in Florida and they're really loud in the other room. And if they come bursting through the door, I warn you. So um, another thing is I'm trying to get really good about releasing my videos on Tuesday. Um, I can't be good enough to get a time down uh, where I'm like, at consistently releasing them at but um that's goal 2018 goals here we go um but the goal still for now is tuesdays and today is tuesday and wednesday i don't want to release it even though i'm going to be back in la so um <clears throat> that's that i'm um so i'm in this awkward situation because i'm trying to release my video on tuesday it is 6 40 here in orlando florida so Florida has two time zones. So uh, anyways, I did a poll on Facebook and Twitter and just those two. And uh, I wanted to see what everyone wanted to discuss really because that's what happens in these videos is I post something that we talk about or I talk about and then we all kind of share in the comments how we relate to them and it becomes like a discussion and um, I really like that. People write me messages about how they connect to the videos, and really that's what it's all about. It's a lot of fun. Um, so the poll was, uh, should I do a vid the next video on the catfish, or should I do a ne my next video on the worst date I ever went on this year? And um, <laughs> I say um a lot in the video. Someone told me that. I'm really trying to work on it. So uh, I mentioned in the last video that I was going to do it on the worst date I ever went on, but the poll winner was the catfish story. So here we go. I'm going to get into it. Um, warning, uh, if anyone has been um, in a situation like this or you have been abused or uh, it could be triggering for some people, um, I'm not going to really get into like anything that's like super sad. It's obviously like a really uncomfortable story and uh, there's a lot of anger that I still carry from it and it could just excite some negative emotions in people and I don't want people to get upset. So what happened is quite remarkable. Um, there's that word again. Okay. So what happened is quite remarkable. The person who did this to me, I applaud you and your awful, awful, um, no moral, sense of self um so what so okay this is ha this happened back in um sorry i'm not trying not to say the um september the end of september september october it was the beginning of october so end of september beginning of october i had just gotten back from is either right before i went to san fran i think it was right before i went to san francisco so it may have been the middle of september it doesn't matter i am online on grinder um, this is my cell phone and it's going way over there. I am, I cannot even concentrate with that thing going off constantly. It's so frustrating. People text you seven times in a row and I'm like, why do you do that? Let me text you back before you write a novel. Oh my God. Sorry. And rant. Okay. So I was on Grinder. It's really, really late at night and mind you, I have been deleting Grinder, getting back from Grinder, deleting Grinder. I'm um, just trying to bring my use down and uh, there, it's like three o'clock in the morning and this guy who um, chatted me up the year before, his name was Mike, we'll say, um, he messages me out of nowhere and he's like, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm so, you know, what happened? You know, we should get in touch. And I'm just like, oh my God, I was super into this guy last year and I kind of like missed my chance with him. Like he just kind of, we even, like, I can't remember what happened exactly, but like we got out of touch and, um, and I really, really wanted him. And then he, I could just like never heard from him again. So at that time, this guy lives, um, about 40 minutes from my house north of me. Now this guy is ch chatting me up. He said, Oh, I, I moved to Culver city, which shit, I wasn't supposed to say where I live, but okay. So he moved, uh, he moved to Culver city where I live. And he was like, like two miles away. And I was like, Oh my God, like this guy moved close to me. I was like, he's hitting me up. He hasn't talked to me forever. Like I need to jump on this. He's like, come over right now. 
come over right now. So he wanted to see like a picture of me and I send him a picture of me and then he wasn't sending me current pictures of himself, but I was like, whatever. He's this ginger boy. He's got blue eyes. He's like 22. I'm like, he, he was this, I, I just assuming that he sees pictures from the year before. So I, you, with, you know, not using my better judgment, I decided to jump in the car and I roll over the two miles to his house and I'm looking, I, I'm like getting into his neighborhood. I'm like, wow, I didn't know there was these nice of places over here, but I don't, you know, where I live. And I park my car, get a parking space right up front. And I'm thinking this is all working out. Like this is meant to be. And I walk my car, walking towards this house. It's like pitch black outside, pitch black, pitch dark, pitch dark outside. And um, I'm walking, and I he's he starts walking towards me, and then I start feeling like this guy doesn't look. He looks a lot smaller. He doesn't look like he looks kind of dark skinned. I'm like, so I'm getting closer. There are beautiful condos. You know, and then there's like a walk, a, a, like a sidewalk walkway in the middle and just like beautiful shrubs and greenery and flowers. And I'm just like, okay, um, as he starts to approach, I'm like, who are you? And I'm thinking, oh my God, I did something. What did I do wrong? And I am expecting, you know, a 20 something year old Irish looking kid. And I'm looking at a small Asian man and I kind of recognize him, but I can't place it. So I just kind of go along with it and I kind of like huggish him and I'm just thinking, what what is happening? What did I do? I should have turned around and ran the other way towards my car, told him you are not who you say you are. I know a lot of you might have a question, a lot of questions right now about like, why did you go into his house? And I do know because I've worked through this a lot of therapy since it happened, but I couldn't bring myself to make the situation awkward or escalate into something worse. Um, His neighbors could have heard like I, which would have been fine, but I didn't want to make a big scene. I was just afraid. And I was second guessing myself that I did something wrong. So I'm following him into his house and I'm like, my brain is just going like, I'm like, I'm like, turn around. And I, so I get in there and I'm sitting down, I ask for a glass of water and I'm just trying to stall and kill time and try to get out thinking, what can I do? Who can I like, what can come up? And I, so I have my glass of water and then, and then he sits down next to me when he brings it to me and I'm sipping it. And then everything clicks in my brain. I'm like, Oh my God, this is the guy that has been harassing me, not harassing me, stalking me for like three years, maybe four, maybe two, but for sure, like, that's like where I'm at. I'm thinking like three years, this guy constantly changes his number and texts me, always asking to see me, always trying to get me over. I, I am mean to him. I politely tell him, no, I block him. I delete him. I report him. Like, it doesn't matter. He always gets back in touch with me. And then he's like, worn me down times where I'll just like talk to him sometimes because like, I'm like, this guy is not going away. And then he did it. He made a profile a year ago and, and freaking, you know, fished me, like fished me in with, you know, catfished me in with this profile, kept my interest, disappeared. He probably didn't get me at some effort he made last year. He revamps presenting as Matt again. And I take the bait this time and I go over there. So I didn't confront him about what happened. I got myself out of the situation and I fortunately never heard from him again. So uh, I kind of leave this as like a cliffhanger, like what happened. But what I want to say is it doesn't matter what happened because he left me alone and I am better for everything that happened. I am more cautious and I will never do that thing that again. And I want to encourage everyone who meets someone online to get people to verify who they are. You know, there's so many ways to do it these days. You can get them to go on Skype, which I find that most people want to do. And, um, it's incredibly easy and, um, you know, very accurate. Uh, you can always have them take a picture with the date or your name in the background. And, um, 
And that's another good way. Sometimes before this even happened, I would ask people to make a peace sign with like their right hand and put it close to their face. So you kind of know that that was taken just for you. Another way is to do a Skype call or a Facebook call or FaceTime. But I really want to encourage everyone to really look out for yourselves and don't get hurt or be put in these situations because some people aren't as nice as this guy was and some people aren't as assertive as I am and they get in really bad situations and we don't want anything happening to you. So that's it. Merry Christmas. I hope everybody has a happy holiday, has had a happy holiday and has a happy holiday coming up on the first. Happy New Year. Bring all of your intentions, your good intentions and your positivity into this new year and let it carry you through to the next one. All right. Be well. All right. <laughs> Bye.